the, the second thing you want to talk about is just awareness, especially for those following their cases on their own. Uh, USCIS frequently makes updates. And since Trump came, they usually give, would, every time they'd update something, they would tell you months ahead of time so you're prepared. But it was a tradition I saw with Trump is continuing by administration is they change something and then they said you notice that it's changed. And we had several things like that change this week. Um, you know, a couple affecting the TPS situation um, and the Ukraine issue. So um, TPS, temporary protected status, was announced for Ukraine, Afghanistan, uh, South Korea, extended. But in particular, uh, the, the, for Ukraine, I think, cases, they changed the address of where you can mail it to. They just changed it. We got the message overnight. So be prepared. Make sure you don't send stuff in the wrong location. And kind of the best practice procedures, both lawyers and race lawyers always remind people in our own staff, the last thing we do before we print a case to the government is we go to USIS.gov and check what the filing fee is right now because they changed out that zone. The address is supposed to be mailing to and be very specific because if you're in California, there's an address that goes there. If you're in New York, potentially there's, a, there's an address that goes for that. And then finally, uh, you check the address on the, the rest of the filing fee, address, and the form type because they may change the form on you without telling you, which is another thing that happened with a couple of forms that changed this week. Yes, and uh, what I noticed today, for example, we received today um, a notice from USA saying that they changed addresses for T for Ukraine TPS. And I looked through this, I didn't see much change. Maybe it's like within some states that are changing. But uh, they're saying today is May, May 3rd, and they're saying that as of May 2nd, which was yesterday, they already changed this address. So possibly some people who filed uh, their applications yesterday, they already filed it, uh, used the wrong address yeah. for that. Now, luckily, when you say the lockbox are supposed to internally adjust it. It's in their discretion, they say, but it's it's just it's kind of ridiculous for them to change something and then go back in time and change. It doesn't make any sense, but that's just what we deal with every day with immigration. That's what makes us Chris Jobs for us, right? <laughs> that's why you need immigration lawyers because we got to be on top of this stuff every second of every day. Uh, it's all we talk. Vanya and I are talking pretty much morning, night, and, and emails and Slack. This change, that change. Be aware of this. It's an all-consuming profession. That's that, that's just part of what we signed up for. Thank you for watching this educational program. To get the latest videos, click the subscribe button and the notification bell icon. Also, help us help the immigrant community by liking this video and sharing it with your family and friends. You can also find us on other social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter, where you find the latest updates on immigration news, policy changes, and tips. Be safe and God bless. See you soon.